You'll hear on Hobson Creek, um, this was just all infested with elephant grass, guinea, cow tame and everything. About two or three years ago, we um, started to vegetate the sides. We wanted to work with the weeds because we were quite conscious if we sprayed all this weed out and then had a big uh, swell come through, we'd have a hell of a lot of erosion because the little uh, trees don't have a root base to do anything. So what we're actually doing here is working with the weeds and um, we promote the trees on either side. And then over about five or six years, the, um, the canopy closes in. We call it the cathedral effect. And then the sunlight doesn't get down to these grasses and they naturally die out. And in the meantime, the uh, trees, these key trees, have started to get a lot of other little seedlings growing in underneath. And so the, um, the bank becomes well vegetated, limiting erosion. In the end, this system looks after itself. One of the other benefits of having a well shaded creek is that uh, the sunlight doesn't hit the water. So a lot of this water um, uh, comes from the mountain ranges and is, is quite cool, probably 18 to 20 degrees this time of year. And there's a relationship, the colder water is, uh, the more dissolved oxygen it can hold. So as you heat water up, uh, even pure mountain water, if it heats up to 35 degrees or so, as it would if it was going across the valley here with no shade cover, um, just the dissolved oxygen it can store is not high enough for fish life to live in. So that water might still be pure and beautiful, but um, physically heating up has, has made it not available to the animals so it has a real real advantage in, in the shade cover and if we can get the water from the uh, internal range over into the Mulgrave River with as little sunlight hitting it uh, we're helping the water get to the river in its best state.